large supplier of gaskets in the aftermarket under the brand name Molly Original Gaskets. Everyone watching this video is a consumer of products, be they clothes, tools, car parts, electronics, or in my case, race car parts. I would also venture to guess that just like me, you've ended up with something that looked good, sounded good, or was priced really good, but under close scrutiny just wasn't too good at all. Well folks, it's no different in the gasket world, and who better to shed some light on this subject than Bill McKnight. So Bill, am I correct? Is there more than meets the eye when it comes to gasket quality? Well, Alex, you're exactly right. There's often more meets the eye. If you give me just a few minutes, we can look at some examples, and I can show you and our viewers how to be wise gasket consumers. Well, it's all yours, Bill, and frankly, I want to see how just in a few minutes you can make us just as smart a gasket consumer as you are, so have at it. Well, Alex, it goes something like this. If you're an aftermarket gasket supplier and you understand that technicians desire OE form, fit, and function, you'll do your best to supply what at least looks like the real deal. Now keep in mind there are only two full-line gasket suppliers in North America. Every other company out there is a short-line supplier. This means if you can't compete with coverage, you've got to compete with price. Think about it. If you had a third the coverage that we do and you were priced just as we were, why would anyone want to buy your gaskets? Well, I never gave that much thought, but yeah, it makes perfect sense, and not just in the gasket business. So, continue on, Bill. You've got me hooked okay. on the story now. The problem is, if you recall from our show on the form, fit, and function topic, these modern gaskets are expensive both in materials and tooling. Yes, I remember very well. So, how does the short line supplier make a part that looks like OE form, fit, and function, but at a cost substantially less? Remember, we said materials cost more and tooling costs more, right? Correct. Okay, now I think I get it. We're going to scrimp on materials. That's easy, but tooling, that's another story. How do you scrimp on tooling? Well, they're both great questions, Alex. I've actually got examples for you and our viewers. MLS gaskets sealed by loading a raised embossed bead that's formed into stainless steel. Now, at Molly, we buy tempered stainless steel and withstand tens of thousands of cycles of loading and unloading that bead and still maintain spring tension. That steel is expensive, so one way to take the cost out is to reduce that tempering process. The consumer won't know the difference, at least for a while, until the gasket fails in service. An even bigger factor is that soft steel is much easier on the forming dies that create those raised speeds, so they last longer, reducing the cost even more. Wow, isn't that tricky? So how does a consumer like me figure that out? I've got no lab and no way to test the hardness of the steel. Well, Alex, you're going to love this, and I'm going to let you do it right here, right now, as we're recording. Okay. We're going to have two gaskets, a Molly Original and a Brand X, and you're going to do the snap test. Okay. Ready? Yes. All right, take the Molly gasket, hold it flat on the table, and bend one edge up 90 degrees. Okay. Notice what happens. It snaps completely back flat on the table. So, let me try the other one. Let's see this Brand X gasket. Okay. That looks like I ruined the gasket. Well, well, you did ruin the gasket, Alex. <laughs> it really wasn't much good to start with, so don't feel bad. Okay. Better to find out now than wait a month or two until it fails on your car. Okay? I tell our customers, anytime another company tries to sell you gaskets, do the snap test. Okay, Bill. I'll remember that one. So, this makes me think, what other, what other stuff should I be looking for? Well, another thing we do on these head gaskets is we silk screen around these vital areas on the gasket. In a Molly original, we're going to show you something now called the thumbnail test. Okay, now the thumbnail test, the snap test, these aren't too high-tech tests, Bill. <laughs> well, Alex, I'd rather keep our gaskets high-tech test tech, and the test simple. Point well taken. Carry on, Bill. We use very sophisticated materials on these coatings, and without a lab, you can't tell one from the other. We all apply them wet, and once the coating's on, it has to be properly cured, so it binds well to the stainless steel. You can check that with your thumbnail. Try peeling that coating off our Molly All gasket. Right. It's, not, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere, Bill. I can't get it off. I've seen Brand X gaskets, Alex, where you could peel that coating off like nothing. Just wow. go right around there and peel it off. How do you expect it to work on the engine if it peels off in two or three cycles of starting and stopping? Well, I don't think it'll work too well at all, so from now on I'll remember the snap test and the thumbnail test when I'm evaluating MLS gaskets. So we're out of time for today, Bill, so thank you so much, and I hope you'll come back soon. Thank you, Alex.